Hey there! Today I'm going to show you how to turn a Tracker 1 into a Bluetooth gateway. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a couple of PLE sensors to track me as I go for a bike ride around town. I've got two sensors. One is this heart rate monitor. I'm going to wear it here so I'm going to see what my heart rate is as I'm riding my bike. The other one is a speed sensor that goes around the hub of the front wheel. As I'm showing you here, what this sensor does is it counts the revolutions of the front wheel on my bike. By knowing what the diameter of the wheel is, we can figure out what the instantaneous speed is. Every time that the Tracker 1 will publish location data, it will also get my heart rate as well as my instantaneous speed. So first, let's measure the radius of the wheel and we can, let's see, uh, multiply that by 2 pi r and then we get the diameter. I just realized that I forgot to tell you how I'm loading the value of the circumference into the Tracker 1 so that it can figure out what the speed is. Tracker services on the particle console gives you one of the things it gives you in addition to the map and location, it gives you the configuration services. So configuration services um, allows you to have the configuration of, of the tracker, for example, how often it uh, goes to sleep, um, when it decides to publish, whether uh, the, um, it publishes when it mo senses movement or distance, etc. But it also allows you to add your own uh, custom configuration items. So using Tracker Edge firmware, you can add the configuration items directly onto your firmware, which is what I did here for the, uh, uh, the wheel circumference. And then using uh, JSON, you can upload your own configuration schema to the particle console, then you can use the regular configuration on the console to update um, your values. Now, those values can be updated either by device or they can be updated fleet-wide. So if you would think you will deploy, um, let's say, a thousand trackers uh, and they are all deployed in trucks or vehicles that have the same wheel size, um, now uh, once you uh, onboard a new tracker onto your product, it automatically gets all of your configuration, not just the one for the tracker, but also for your custom sensors and uh, your custom application. All right, so we have the speed sensor installed on the bike. I have my heart rate monitor here. Let's put the tracker one now on the pouch on the bike. Let me get ready and let's go for a bike ride. Ready to go. So let's go to the particle console and take a look at my path. You can see there the location as well as my heart rate and my speed. And so you can view it later, you can download it, you can use the cloud API to get the data over to your own backend service if you have it. You can also view the data uh, for the time that you select as well as you can export all the historical location data, including the sensor data, in this case, heart rate and speed, and you will download the comma separated values uh, that you can open as a spreadsheet. If you want to learn more or to get started with your IoT project, visit us at particle.io or email sales at particle.io.